Hey Virgos, Trishna here. Welcome to your February 2019 reading. What I'm feeling for you in terms of how you're feeling now leading into February is I feel like you're really trying to be happy. You're really trying to present this happy, positive face, but deep down I feel like you're actually struggling and things just don't feel like they're going your way and you're feeling pretty disappointed and you're really trying not to feel it. Like you really want to feel happy, but the feelings are there. And I feel like February is going to be a little bit of a rough month because you are trying to beat the sadness. You are trying to beat this kind of depression that you're in, but it's almost like you're, you're fighting in the dark. And so you're not really sure if you're moving in the right direction. You're not sure if you're even having an effect in fighting this sadness or darkness that you're feeling right now. You can't really see what you're doing or how, how well you're doing at this. And so that can be a little bit... A little bit frustrating and also just you don't really have answers and that it's not very helpful and I feel like the struggle that you're gonna have this month is around trust and I feel like trust is really the theme for you this month and that trust is trusting yourself because I think that there is a way out of the sadness that you're feeling I feel like there's a back door that you could kind of sneak through and that would bring you back to the brightness, the happiness, the the good feelings and really get you back into feeling like yourself again and recovering from these disappointments that you've been feeling or things not working out how you'd like them to or as well as you'd like them to or in the time frame that you had wanted them to work out by. And the trust element comes in because You have to trust that you can be happy, and I think right now you're just so in the darkness that even though there could be a back door, you don't trust that it would really help you. You don't, yeah, so let, let's explain the back door. So right now you're dealing with a lot of this, like depression and sadness, maybe in a bigger area of your life, but a back door from like what I'm being shown um, to share with you is like your back door is something that is like a small piece or like a small sliver of excitement that if you just followed it could lead to a lot more happiness and excitement. So maybe like your career isn't really going the way that you would like it to, but you have the potential for or you're in a relationship with somebody who really can make you happy, who really makes you feel secure and loved and safe and good. And that could be your back door is really just trying to take your focus away from what's upsetting you and focus on this person that is showing you love and appreciation so that you can focus on them and show them love and appreciation as well. And like through that whole interaction of sharing and mingling love and appreciation, like you feel better and better, but you don't trust, like there's a trust element there that's missing where you don't know like if you can trust this person entirely, not because it's them, like they are a trustworthy person and you know that, but it's like, yeah, but you know, things haven't been working out for me. Things that I put my trust in and my hopes in and my, you know, my faith in have let me down and what, you know, all things eventually can let you down and what if I get really excited and hopeful about this person or this other back door, whatever it is for you, just some small sliver of hope that's separate from the sadness that you're dealing with, whatever it is, it's like, but what if this disappoints me too? Again, not because the person's disappointing, I feel like this person's like really good for you if it's a relationship, really positive, really, you know, somebody who can really be there for you, someone that you can really rely on, but you know, in your head, it's like, well, other things have disappointed me and nobody can ever, and this is true, nobody can ever like be there for you completely. Um, so what if I get disappointed here and then I just feel worse and, you know, or you feel like, what if my sadness from this other area seeps into, through this back door into my relationship and I just bring that sadness with me into something that is a good relationship and then it doesn't help me, it doesn't help them. So there's a lot of trust issues that you have with taking this happy avenue that is available to you. And so that's why this month, your struggle is really going to be about finding that trust in yourself, that you can be happy, that you can focus on something different, that you can allow yourself to be showered with love. Like, and that, I think the other thing is like, will this person still love me despite like, even if I accidentally bring some of the sadness with me, like, will I still be accepted? So really just trusting, trust, 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 trust. That's like the theme for you that, yeah, you can be happy, that you you can rely on this person or this other avenue, that even if you do let some of the sadness seep in, that they will still love you and accept you 
and they will because they do love you and accept you and they very, very, very much want to be there for you all the time, not just when you're happy and easy to love. They want to love you even when you're hard to love because they like truly, truly love you, like all of you, <laughs> like all of your little like dips and crevices and just everything about you. So yeah, your theme for this month is to trust. And that's really the guidance that I'm getting for you as well is like really you need to trust. And that is the greatest gift that you can ever give yourself is or at least one of the greatest gifts that you can give yourselves is trust, trusting yourself that no matter what, you can be okay, you can think your way out of situations, you can turn things around for yourself, you can be loved, you can love, and that you are in control of yourself and your life, even when it seems like on the surface, you're at like things are out of your control like you have the power within you for everything that you want so i hope this is helpful i hope that you have a good february i hope that you really trust yourself and also trust this person in your life because they're worthy of your trust and yeah they're they're good i like them I like them a lot. <laughs> so I hope this reading was helpful. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe. If you have anything you want to share with me, drop me a comment below the description box and I will see you in my next video.